So, you have decided to do fiber optic networks and systems maintenance. However, you have no clue where to start. With this video, we are going to help you choose the equipment for starting your own business. First of all, you ought to define your profile, maintenance of high level networks or local lines. The complexity and the cost of the equipment you will need depends strictly on your tasks. There are two common types of fiber optic maintenance hardware, insulation and diagnostics tools. Let's start with the insulation tools. The most important component of the insulation toolkit is a fiber optic fusion splicer. This is a precision instrument that uses electrical arc for splicing optical fibers with minimal connection defects. Splicers can cost quite a lot, so picking the right one requires a responsible approach and a clear understanding of your objectives. High-level network installation professionals use only high-end fusion splicers from Fujikura, Furukawa, and Sumitomo, and some other manufacturers. The technical requirements for such devices are considerably high. The splicers have to be environmentally resistant against dust, spatter, extreme temperatures, and humidity, and be able to take a beating without being damaged. The fusion quality has to remain stable and high to ensure minimal signal loss tolerance for high-level networks. The market's long-standing leader, Fujikura, became known for its best seller, the FM60S, which, since 2013, was refined and renamed the Fujikura 80S. It's possible that every fiber optic maintenance professional has at least one time used this model. Its advantages, without a shadow of a doubt, are absolute environmental durability, precise ergonomics, and high reliability. All these strong points justify the device's high price. Certainly the characteristics of the Fujikura 80S perfectly meet the technical needs and standards of local networks installation. However, using such a device only within small-scale projects would be a very cost-ineffective solution. If you are planning to perform local networks maintenance only, the most effective decision would be buying a China-made splicer. Decent quality devices are produced by Jilong and DVP. Splicers of these manufacturers are usually in demand due to their unbeatable value compared to their cost. Look no further than the most popular and affordable model, the DVP730. This splicer's primary advantage is making a quick return of the money you've invested. This machine does not boast super environmental resistance, but you really don't need that for its functions. It fuses the fiber with very low losses. The device's ergonomics were adopted from the Fujikura FSM50S. Okay, let's summarize what we have so far. If you're focused on high-level networks, choose the Fujikura ADS and similar models. If you're focused on local networks, choose the DVP730 and alike. A less expensive, but no less important purchase is a fiber optic cleaver. The cleaver is, usually, a precision instrument used to make clean cuts of optical fiber before fusion. The cutting quality directly defines the fusion quality. Moreover, it makes the fusion possible. As well as the splicers, Fujikura cleavers are the unquestionable sales leaders. The classic CT30A model has been setting the standard for cleavers for many years and is used almost everywhere. Any large operations lead to significant holdbacks when installing high-level networks. With that in mind, the ergonomics of the Fujikura CT30A cleaver enable fast cleaving when you need it the most. However, installation of local lines doesn't really need either high speed of operations or low cleaving tolerance. Therefore, a cheaper cleaver, such as the DVP-105, would be quite a reasonable choice. Also, it should be noted that many splicers are already supplied with cleavers. The DVP-730 always comes with a DVP-105 cleaver. An optical fiber has to have its insulation cleaned off before cleaving. This procedure requires using special strippers. As well as fiber optic cleavers, fiber optic strippers are precision tools and demand careful handling as well as professional usage. The most reputable fiber optic strippers are produced by Miller Company located in the US. The Miller CFS2 stripper is frequently added to the basic kits of many fusion splicers. The Miller FO103S stripper was designed with the same functions, but was reinforced for higher durability and performance. Both models are recommended for the installation of either high-level networks or local lines. Cheaper strippers are made with lower quality materials, which reduce the instrument's endurance and stripping accuracy. For local scale projects, it is better to use Pro's Kit 8PK326 model or similar models. 
Whatever price you paid for the fusion splicer you may use, and regardless of how accurate your stripper is, there is no way you can do high quality fusion without decent accessories. Fiberless wipes and special wadding sticks are vitally necessary for the installation of any type of network. Only their right application will let you remove all the micro dirt from optical fiber as well as eliminate any unwanted dust. The quality of fiber optic cable needs to be assessed with special diagnostics instruments. The primary instrument, as well as the most expensive one used for inspecting fiber optic cable performance, is an optical time domain reflectometer. Based on the reflectogram, modern reflectometers assess general signal attenuation, evaluate splicing positions, sleeves, distribution frames, calculate line length, and perform lots of other functions. An optical time domain reflectometer may be equipped with a deflectoscope or laser radiation source. The reflectometer's outer dimensions vary from the size of a smartphone up to a desktop's PC, depending on the reflectometer's model and functions. High-level networks maintenance essentially requires a wide dynamic range of an optical time domain reflectometer. A reflectometer with a wide dynamic range will accurately assess long-distance line performance. However, a low dynamic range optical time domain reflectometer will not be able to detect many events and connections. The features just mentioned may be found in the EXFO AXS 110 12CD or the Yokogawa AQ7275. These devices are notable for their perfect manufacturing quality and wide dynamic range. They are capable of inspecting long distance lines at poor connection quality. Local network testing does not require high values of dynamic range. So you have a chance to save your money buying the devices with average specifications. Most users recommend the following models, the Geelong KL6200, the DVP322, or the Center ST3200. An optical time domain reflectometer should be used together with compensation coil in order to eliminate or at least minimize the action impulse effect on the measuring precision. Besides the optical time domain reflectometer, the visual control of defects in a fiber optic cable requires using a visual fault locator. A visual fault locator is the laser ray source connected directly to an optical connector. An engineer may localize a defect by the ray of diffused light coming out of a fiber. The most popular fault locator is the Orientech T10 and similar models. The other widespread models of fault locators are ProsKit MT7508 or the ProsKit MT7509. We have considered all the categories and the types of the equipment necessary for starting a fiber optic networks maintenance business. Without a doubt, there are many different fusion splicing instruments that vary in features and operation, but don't worry, you can always learn more and get up-to-date information about them from our experts. Thank you for your kind attention. Good luck in your business.